the phrase, um, love your neighbor as you love yourself, or, well, we'll go with that one, implies that you already love yourself, which implies that you're responsible about it. So, or respect, or, you know, respect your, you know, when you ask somebody to show respect for you, or you show somebody else respect, that implies that, um, you have your own inner foundation developed appropriately, which means, you know, you have to be able to respect yourself to be able to respect another person. And if you don't, it's not really possible to um, fully actually understand what it means to respect somebody else because you can't give anything to anybody that you don't already embody yourself. It's a part of um, energetic vibrations of what you send out and what you receive in. And that goes both ways. In order for somebody else to um, see anything, any interactions and encounters with you or vice versa, for them to see a respect through it, they have to be able to um, feel the respect within themselves as well, which can explain a lot when you really think about it. But um, there are some things that we all need to, we all should develop in childhood, um, teenage years, young adults, and it all has to do with um, emotional intelligence. And the level of emotional intelligence all depends on um, the kind of ways that you were raised as far as development of being allowed or permitted or whatever to develop your own core um, control of yourself which sometimes the way when, when you throw around the term victim mentality that can come across in different different ways many variety it doesn't always encounter from experiencing like true traumatic experiences it can also come from not really ever getting to develop your own self-trust, your own self-control, your own self-empowerment because of um, strict rules where we have to give up our own power to authority because it's considered respect. But I feel that that's kind of confusing in a lot of situations because it's teaching children to grow up and not learn to respect themselves, to surrender their own authority over to others just because, you know, and um, where where does it turn into the changing factor that it becomes appropriate or they learn to develop how to change that and start to um, do it themselves and without actually doing the role onto somebody else to where they take somebody else's power and that's how they receive their power back. That's kind of like... Um, disempowering somebody else to feel empowered and it doesn't really have to be that way because if we are all taught personal sovereignty and um, given you know there are rules and guidelines obviously that you have to go by and children can't be granted 100% full authority of themselves but they could um, more along the lines you know with some legacy changing and um, dynamic restructuring um, learn to develop it properly to where it stops the cycle of disempowering others on down the line to gain your own empowerment back. And through that was where personal sovereignty comes in. And um, there's four pillars to personal sovereignty and it's developing your own inner foundation within yourself, which is um, developing your self intimacy, which, you know, when people talk about self love and self respect and putting yourself first, there is an appropriate, um, there is an appropriate guideline for that and it is very appropriate and very healthy to do and oftentimes we think of that as being selfish but there's responsibly selfish and we don't always consider or even look at that because we're, um, we all have like this dynamic in the majority of society where it's not good to be selfish but there is actually such thing as responsibility responsibly selfish and when we embody that when you give 
to another person or you do something for another person, you genuinely want to. When you take care of your own needs first, you can take care of others' needs around you genuinely without resentment, without feeling any bitterness, without feeling that they owe you something. That's how you can freely, unconditionally give to another person. But you can't do that until you actually feel fulfilled within yourself fully without having to without feeling the need to take something else from somebody else to replace the need within you that is not met, which is getting your own power back. Um, we have agreements with people that we don't really even realize we're getting into, like implied agreements where we give our own power away, and it turns into victim mentality in many situations, and we don't even realize it. And most of the time, that all stems from giving away your own power unconsciously because of dynamics of how we're how society, majority of, I'm not going to say all of, majority of society has um, instilled in us. And that also goes along the lines of um, leading by example, not just teaching our children to do better than we did and not showing by doing that within ourselves, but wanting them to be better than us. That's not a way to do it either because what happens is they end up growing up and doing that same thing because they didn't instill the proper foundation within themselves and develop it appropriately to to embody it because we actually um, we we mirror humans mirror each other that's that's how we learn we observe and we copy and we um, we we don't really play Simon says that that's like a gossip thing and a judgmental thing that's not even real it's all fake it's an illusion it's like a fake perfection that's like a Simon Says world, whereas follow the leader, and um, that's that's realistically how everything plays out, and uh, how we teach our children and grandchildren, and that's how we, you know, children need someone to look up to who's leading by example within themselves to do what they're telling them to do, instead of do as I say, not as I do. So we stop the di um, the normalizing dynamic change of passing that along, and then we end up on different areas of the um, polarity spectrum, and it just uh, will go from generation to generation to generation to generation, bouncing from one end of the spectrum to the under, other end of the spectrum to the other end to the other end, back and forth, back and forth, and um, generations just juggle, they just juggle um, conflict and Suffering is what seems to sometimes go down the lines. Now, I'm not saying, you know, always and things are picking up, but it's just something to think about.